Denai is a young woman who is diagnosed with select mutism, an anxiety disorder that prohibits certain children from being able to speak in social situations outside of their homes or with people they know. This mutism is also triggered by moments of anxiety or fear. Most kids grow out of it, but in some rare cases, they don't. Denai fits this rare case. She's, she's not getting better. You said she'd get rid of it. What's happening? A lot of kids don't grow it and some don't. She just needs love and affection just like any other child. She needs you more than you know. But that's what you keep on saying. What if she's stuck like this forever? What? What, what are you talking about? I don't know. Ever since her mom, I've had this feeling of doubt like I wouldn't be able to handle it, handle her. Patrick, what if I, I keep her yes. for a little bit? Wait, that's, that's, that's perfect. I hadn't even thought about that. Patrick, I, I don't mean forever. I mean, she's still your daughter. I Listen, don't, I, don't I can keep her here for a week, maybe months. Patrick, I don't know. You know I love her like a daughter, but this seems like a little bit too much, even for you. Well, you'll do it? I probably shouldn't be doing this. But will you do it? Patrick, this is wrong. But you'll do it. I'll do it. Um, tell her I said bye, will you?
understand me? Yes. Okay. What are you doing here? Oh, I've been searching for you for a very long time, but I just haven't been able to find you or have any contact. But you left me. No, no, she took you from me, but all that matters is you're sick. What do you mean, she? Dr. Shirley. Um, she took you. She convinced you that she loved you. No. I, I live with Dr. Shirley. She took me here after she left and abandoned me. What? Is that what she told you? I put the pieces together. No, you've got it wrong, quite wrong, actually. She's evil. She took you from me. And then she convinced you that she was your mother, that she loved you. What? You want to hear a story? I was a young man. I was happy, free, but I was alone. And then I met your mother. I hate to be cliche, but it was bliss. Everything fell into place until she decided that she didn't love me anymore. She said, she, she said, she said I, she didn't want any kids, and it was my fault we had you. I tried to calm her down and tell her how much I cared about her, but it didn't matter. Ten days later, she was gone. I stayed in the city with you. I saw this therapist, Dr. Shirley. She was helping me get better about dealing with my anger and frustration. And then she started seeing you. I didn't know it then, but she was trying to convince you that I was evil, dangerous, a, a bad father. I really shouldn't be calling you. You know, I love you like God. This has just been eating away with me. She told you I, I couldn't take care of you. He's really trying. He said he can't handle you for much longer. She told you I was angry, aggressive. And he came into the closet and he threatened my life. She told you that I, I didn't love you anymore. He said he doesn't love me. I'm sure that's not the case. I'm so sorry. I really shouldn't be telling you. And then she took you from me. Ever since that day, I've gone around looking for you, trying to find my daughter, but I found you. I don't know if I can trust you. Look, Diane and I, you're gonna have to make a choice. Are you gonna stay here, the woman you've known all your life, or come with me back home? Let's go.
and the things that he tells me all add up to you. I get so scared and lonely almost every day. And when I'm with you, I feel so warm and safe. 